Hi guys and welcome to episode 3 of Project Paphos. First of all, thank you very much for the response on the Project Paphos uh, episodes. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're going into a big game now guys, a big game. Let me take it to the screen uh, while we start off. Now, Paphos actually lost against Lenarcos in real life uh, two days ago now, 4-1. And it was, a, it was a shame really because we played at home as this is now as well. And... It was a great goal from Velikari in real life, but unfortunately after that, the manager got sacked. So, yeah, a bit disappointing actually in Paphos in real life at the minute. Um, they are, they are, again, they are mid-table as well. So, But guys, let's get to this save anyway. Let's get to the virtual world, <laughs> which is a little bit better at the minute uh, because we're currently second at the minute, but we do play Lenarcos next. Now, Lenarcos are currently top of the league, AEK, AEK Lenarcos, and they're a very good side as well at the minute. They're playing really well. They've not lost a game yet. And then... We are going to be playing another game as well in this one against uh, Ethnikos as well, a AS Ethnikos, um, who again another good side as well. But at the minute, not really, uh, not really set off uh, good really. To be fair, Apoel, Apollon, uh, Amanoia, uh, I've not, I've not set off as well. To you. It's early stages yet. It's only three games in. It's early stages. Just to let you know as well, uh, the, our top goal scorer is uh, Reese Hepburn, uh, is Russian at Murphy. Uh, he's playing really well at the minute. Uh, and we've got Stefan Panic, who is the highest average rating at 7.42. And then we have the best pass completion of Georgios Villarenas uh, at 94% pass completion. And then we haven't got no red cards yet, which is good. Uh, we have uh, Jao Aurelio uh, on four yellow cards. So, guys, absolutely fantastic. Um, we, we've started off okay. Again, very early stages. Let's take you to the schedule very quickly, just to show you where we have been at this season so far. So, we have lost three games up to now. We have drawn one, and then we've won the rest. Uh, but, yeah, in the last episode where we played Apollon, we got beat 2-0. And then that great Jason punching goal. If you didn't see it, guys, go back to episode two. Check out that free kick, an absolute worldie. So yeah, well done, Jason Punching. So guys, yeah, let's take you to the uh, let's take you to the team. What I'm going into to this to this game against against uh, AK Lenarcos. So yeah, we are at home, and this is what we're going in with. Um, we I've done a couple of personalized things as well. So I've I've let, I've asked Velikara to roam from his position, be more free, be more expressive. Uh, Take more shots on as well. He's a very good, uh, very good long shot uh, shot taker. Uh, Etburn Murphy as well. That that support for Etburn Murphy as well. If it's not working within the first maybe half an hour, then we can uh, maybe first thirty minutes, and we can change up to more of a four four two situation. Maybe even bring Torres on, um, and then we'll go from there. Really. So yeah, let's let's go into this game and let's see how we go. Again, there's not a lot. I didn't show you there, but there's not a lot of instructions. Um, been given yet so we had there's a lot of room for scope really. not a sco lot of scope for improvement uh in the instructions uh we've got manion williams and gulo rakos cavado carlos and torres on the bench as well um let's go out there let's have fun um i'm expelling i'm expecting good solid uh, i have faith in you and i have faith in the attackers as well without a doubt let's go um does Natural Sasus, so Natural Sasus is absent from this game, and Natural Sasus is a good player as well for Lenarcos, but he is absent at the minute. So we are, uh, I'm going to be focused on my own player, and again, um, does Natural Sasus' absence make the job easier today? The public want to hear, you'll have to ask them how much difference it makes. You know, it, It's not really, listen, I'm more about my own players. I have done the opposition tactics, to be fair, but and that's all I knew that he was going to be out. But anyway, let's go into this game and let's see how we go, guys. Let's see if we can start off this game well. Um, like I said, there is a lot of room for improvement in regards to instructions, if needs be. So uh, we'll see how we go. Villarena said uh, early on just gets the, uh, gets the ball away. And let's see how we go. I have got the two shot maps on, um, but I am going to put the league table on as well. Velikari there tries to get a ball. Punching picks it, picks it up. Is Panic. Is Stefan Panic. Stefan Panic to Barrigade. Barrigade. Barrigade nicks it in, oh, and it's just hit away by, by Ellen Arcos. Here's Aurelio, Aurelio to Punchin. Punchin, nice, tries, tries to get the through ball there to uh, Kusik, but Kusik was not on the same wavelength. Here's Velikari, Velikari to Villarenos. Panic in the middle. Panic playing a, a BWM role, actually, but here's Barrigade. Barrigade, what can you do? Tries to send it back, and again tries to send it back. It's unlucky, Punchin there. Punchin now picks it up. We are uh, certainly putting the pressures on it. Here's size. Only eight minutes in, guys, and there's a uh, there's uh, some opportunities already. The, the the stats are not saying that, but the you know the, from that uh, from that highlight, then it looked like there was. 
So the XG is pretty poor at the minute to be fair. So what I'm going to do, a little encouraged shout going out. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to go a little bit more standard on the uh, tactics. Here's Rudko. Rudko to Azure. Always playing out of that defence at the minute. I think it's a good tactic to play in this league because if you do play uh, long balls, it, they can <laughs> they can kind of count on you quite quickly. Here's Velarenos. Velarenos to Villacare. Villacare picks up to Kusak. Kusak inside to Hepburn Murphy. Kusak, unlucky. I was unlucky from Kusik that. Shot maps are very, very similar to be fair. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here actually. I'm going to put the lead table on in a minute just to show you guys to be fair. Villarenos. Villarenos finds Hepburn Murphy. Hepburn Murphy. Should be finishing that Hepburn Murphy. She had a bit more time as well. Had a bit more time on his hands there. Here's Fernandez for Lanaka. Lanaka is Panic. Panic to Hepburn Murphy. Look at the speed of Hepburn Murphy, guys. This guy's on fire, Hepburn Murphy. That is unlucky. He, he's got to get on the score sheet today, hasn't he? He's playing absolutely fantastic. Let's just... Uh, I'm going to put the league table there just so you guys can see where we currently are at the minute. Okay, everything's going well at the minute. I'm going to do a little praise because I think the guys are on top of the minute without a doubt. Sa, Sa to Hitler, Hitler to Hebram. Friday, they've got a play called Friday, which is cool. <laughs> oh, goes inside there and it gets knocked in. Oh, and it's a, oh, it's off the line. It's off the line there from Azura. It was an header over over the keeper to the back, far back post. It hit the post as well. Came off off the line and Azura takes it off the line. Great defending there from Azura. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Okay, so I think we've done well there. We've got an attendance there of 1,291. They've brought 333, which is good, uh, at the Stadios uh, Caracadas. And then on the shots, we're 6 to 3, which is good. Uh, we've only had two on target, which is not the best, which obviously means the XG is at 0.04 as well. Possession-wise, they have had more possession. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with that first half, to be fair. I think we've got... So we've been the better team out there. There's no doubt about it. I think it's the assistant recommends a good... Uh, Good shout out there. No gesture. Uh, I think absolutely perfect there. Uh, absolutely fine. Um, you weren't that bad. I believe you can still improve though. I think the defense the defense played well, so I'm actually going to say I'm very happy with it. To be fair, midfield. I suppose you weren't that bad, but these you know I have faith in these times to improve. And then the attackers, which is more or less just Hepburn Murphy at the minute. Uh, I mean, I'm delighted. I'm delighted with his efforts. To be fair, he just obviously needs to get him on target. That'll be much better on it. He had a couple on target, so can't go to. Uh, to criticise on him. Here's Berrigade. Berrigade early on here. 45 minutes in. And it's away. So we're currently lying in 5th position at the minute in the league. Uh, in the live league table. Let's just see if we can push it on a little bit. And try and fire him up a little bit. Let's see if we can also... Everything's absolutely fine. There's no real reason to change anything. Uh, maybe just keep an eye on uh, players like... Uh, they've got a player called... Um, What's their player called now? They've got a good player up front. Anyway, we'll, we'll hopefully not find out. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio whips in. <sighs> Unbelievable. Villacaros off the line. Here's, here's says Cal Camelo says. Camelo says to Burt punch him. And he puts it back. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio with the long throw. And it gets knocked away. Comes out to Azure. Azure over to Camelo size. Camelo size inside to Panic. Panic with a shot. And it's away. Comes back out to Hepburn Murphy, and it's uh, it's offside. Fella Carey was offside there. We're playing well here, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a substitution, and it is going to be Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos is going to be the substitute at right back for Aurelio, and it's all down to composure, really. Uh, he's, he's, uh, sorry, uh, condition, really. Uh, everything else is fine there. Berrigade is good on that right. So, yeah, I think, I think we're good here. In fact, you know what? I will change him for Berrigade, actually. We will uh, Zay Carlos with Ber Barricade. Uh, Ber yeah, Zay Carlos. Sorry, let's go back again. Z uh, Barricade for Zay Carlos. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah, more or less a straight swap there. And uh, let's see if we can. In fact, I'll tell you what we are going to do as well very quickly. We're just going to focus on that right hand side now. Um, now, Zay Carlos is on. Just because he's got them legs, basically. It's Panic. Panic inside to Berrigade. Berrigade! We've just brought him off. Oh, no, he's offside anyway. We were just going to bring him off. and it, That would have been a bit, uh, bit horrible, actually, to uh, to bring him off and he just scored a goal. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I'm going to pray. Uh, I'm going to encourage. I'm not going to praise. I'm going to encourage. It's still no nil. But, yeah, uh, I've, everyone's quite happy at the minute. 
the little shout. Um, everything's fine. Everything's absolutely fine at the minute. What I might do actually, Villa Carry might come off in a minute. Is he's a six point three as well? To be fair, is Z Carlos? Z Carlos with the legs picks it up. What can he do? It's two against two. Can he find the right ball? Can he find the right ball? Or can he go himself? Z Carlos here with the shot, and it's a throw into Pathos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring off Villa Carry, and I'm going to bring on Marcelo Carlos, and he can go up top as a two man as a DLF basically with um, Hepburn Murphy. Let's see if we can get something here, guys. Come on. There's a change there. Marcelo. So oh, we've got a, we've got an injury, guys. We've got an injury to Hepburn Murphy. One of our star strikers is injured. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to bring Dennis Recalls on. Uh, it's a good swap to be fair. Definitely an advance forward as well. Oh, I'm not happy about that, guys. I'm not happy about that. Hepburn Murphy injured. Here's Zay Carlos. Let's hope it's not a bad injury. Z Carlos with the legs. All, all, all the uh, highlights are coming for Pafos. Uh, uh, Aurelio, Aurelio inside. He comes into Dennis Rakels. Dennis Rakels, the substitute, get in there. You little beauty. Dennis Rakels, 1-0 Pafos. Get in against top of the league. A. E. Kalen Arcot as well. Panic there with a lovely ball. Oh, it's not one of Panic. He actually passed it back to Aurelio. Aurelio, oh, what a... Get in the boys. Get in. Dennis Rakels. Great cross there, great teamwork there from Panic and Aurelio, and it's 1 0 Pathos. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Okay, 89th minute, let's make a substitute, let's make let's freshen the legs a little bit. It's going to be Carlos Sainz. Oh no. We have, we've already made the three substitutes, of course we have. Can't make another substitute, I'm trying I'm trying to make more substitutes here. Um, let's, uh, we've only got f two minutes left here, let's put a bit of time wasting in now. Let's reduce the tempo slightly, um, let's dribble less. Everything else is fine there. Everything else is fine. Still stay positive. And it, it looks like if it, it can we blow that whistle, referee? Go get in. Come on. That's what I like to see. Panic here. Panic plays recalls in. Recalls. Can we get another goal? Can we get another goal? Recalls there have a nice cheeky chip there, but unfortunately, that is the final kick of the game. Get in there, guys. 1-0 Pathos. Absolutely fantastic. The first half was not the best at all, but the second half, absolutely fantastic. As you can see, guys, there is nine players, uh, sorry, eight players there, all above seven rating. Absolutely fantastic. I'm a bit gutted about the Hepburn Murphy injury, potential lower leg injury. But yeah, guys, as you can see, we have we have turned up today to this, the Stalios Karakadis. And um, yeah, 13 shots, only four on target, which is not the best. XG 1.27, okay, not too bad. Uh, Possession-wise, we did what we needed to do when we had the ball. Simple as that. So, yeah, very happy with that. Tackles won 89%. Guys, get in there. A win against top of the league, which is, obviously they're not top of the league now, which would put us top of the league. Let's, but, guys, well done. Great win. Absolutely fantastic. Very happy with the defence, without a doubt. Just staying all very happy. Stay positive. I'm very pleased with the efforts. And that should now put us top of the league. That should put us top of the league, maybe, or maybe not on goal difference. Let's have a look. Uh, that was something of a managerial masterstroke from you today. I don't know about that. I made the substitutes, but it's all about the players. Bringing Dennis Rico on uh, was reaping almost immediate reward. You must be delighted. Very happy, without a doubt. So, guys, that doesn't put us top on goal difference. But, and Lemisol, I've actually got a game in hand as well. But, guys, let's get to the next game. I'm very happy with that. Lemisol actually won 3 0 against our next opponents. They have two players sent off, actually. Uh, so, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that as well. So, guys, I've got some pretty bad news. <laughs> and as you can see on the screen, guys, Hepburn Murphy is out for three to four weeks. Now, what does that mean? That means that we have got Dennis Rekels. We have got Berrigade up there, so it's not a major problem. Uh, also, we have got... Uh, let's have a quick look at the medical centre. We have got Jack Vale, who is still two weeks away, but <laughs> he's probably going to get back before Hepburn Murphy does, to be fair. I'm absolutely gutted with that. Absolutely gutted with it. So, um, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Let's get to the next game. Okay, guys, we are now playing away against AS Ethnikos, and they are currently bottom of the league. And so I've, I've changed it up completely, really. What I've done is I've brought Dennis Recalls, Zay Carlos on. Four is now going to be played behind Recalls. Uh, we've got Punchin and Velikari in, in the middle now. Uh, and then we've got the Kusik on the left. Velarenos on the left uh, left defence. We've got Camelo Saez, Azure, Arajore, and Aureleo. 
uh, at right back and then obviously would go in net. Uh, on the bench, we put Pamec on the bench just because he, he didn't have the best game last game even though he set up that, that goal for us, which is good. Uh, and also Berry gave on the bench. But it's more about saving the players as well, to be honest. So Dennis Ricos does get his start after that winning goal in the last game. Let's see where we go, guys. Let's submit that team. And less concerns as well, which is good. But, uh, I'll, I'll obviously go to the team cohesion as well, the team happiness in a minute after this game. Uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see what we can do against bottom of the bottom of the table. Bottom of the table, we are favourites. We're favourites without a doubt. Uh, I'm, expecting, I'm expecting good, solid team performance here, uh, and it could be. Uh, it's never ideal to have an injury uh, absence, and of course, but it is easier when Edvard Murphy misses out for what many people consider as a more comfortable match for Pathos. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that that we lose Edvard Murphy in a comfortable match like this, the next game. So yeah, it's a shame that he has he is injured. Um, it is a real shame actually but Dennis Recalls is more than capable to uh, replace him without a doubt ok Anthony Cross here with a corner and it gets whipped in it's just over the bar I think Rudd had it covered to be fair but Nine minutes in, guys, anyway. Not a lot of shots happening. Arajori over the top. Doesn't really happen. Ethnic Cross actually get it back. Arajori. Arajori to Kusik. Kusik over to Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos. Can he get past his man? He, it's a penalty. Get in it. It's a penalty. Dennis Recalls, guys. Dennis Recalls, a goal scorer of the last game, has got a penalty for Pathos and could make us 1 0 up in 11 minutes here. Dennis Recalls with it, and it's in, bottom left bag. Dennis Recalls makes it 1-0 Paphos, absolutely fantastic. That should put us top of the league, depending on the Lemisol game. Absolutely fantastic, get in there, Dennis Recalls, bottom bag, 1-0 Paphos. Yes, Paphos do go top at the minute as well. Let's have a look at the latest scores as well. Okay, so we're 20 minutes in, everything's going absolutely rosy in the garden at the minute. Saying saying that we, yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. We're away. We're away from home, guys. Okay, they are bottom of the league. Don't get me wrong, but we're away from home. XG is creeping up now. Three, uh, two, four and two on shots. Um, possession wise, sixty one percent possession. I think we need to use that possession a little bit more, to be honest. And we could do it. Here's a corner from Villarenas. Villarenas whips it in, and it's it's headed away there. Well from uh, Ethnikos. Villarenas picks it back up. Inside to punch and punch into Velikare. Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos against a 4. 4. Bit of a. Try to get that through ball 4, but it's a bit too much to uh, Dennis Rakels there. Here, Kusit. Kusit picks it back up. Inside to Velikare. Velikare is a player that. He's a, he's a good player, Velikare. He's actually half Scottish, half Finnish. And uh, he's actually chosen Scot Scotland in this game. Um, but he is. He is Finnish as well, so and I believe he's he's chosen Finnish in real life. So yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a weird one actually. But uh, here's what it is. Here's what it is. Still one 0 It's still that Dennis Rakel's penalty that's uh, separating the sides there. And it does look like we're going to get to half time one 0 up away against Efnikos, which I'm very happy about. Very happy about. Stats are looking very good. Sixty four percent possession, guys. Sixty four percent possession. They're playing with two up top as well. So punching and Villa Carrier are a big asset to us there. Because we've got we've obviously got a flat back flat four, um, but obviously the two two BWMs are working really well, uh, so they're kind of helping the defense out as well. Let's get to the dressing room. Things are going very well, but I think we are capable of better. I really do. I feel like I'm going to keep it as that. Just got to keep an eye on the Velarinos yellow card as well. We have got a, an easy left back uh, replacement for um, for Velarinos. There's obviously a chance to bring Kaveda on. Kaveda, sorry, Kaveda, 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 Kaveda. 55 minutes in, we're doing well. Uh, little, little little focus shout going out, doing well. Stay positive, everything's going fine at the minute. And it's a free kick from Punchin. Again, it's a free kick. Punchin off the upright, unbelievable. It's a, it's a bit like the last game, it's a bit like the game before last. It's Punchin inside to Rakels, Rakels wins the corner. Wowzers, guys, that was unbelievable, unbelievable. Velarino whips one in, it gets knocked out, and it's Velakare just over the bar. We 
we are going to bring off um, Aurelio for Berrigade. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring put Zay Carlos in that defensive right position and put Berrigade on that right. We're also got these quite a few yellow cards here, so we're going to make the Caveda say, uh, change as well. So the two fullback changes there. Uh, and then we've got scope to change someone else maybe in the next five to ten minutes. Here's Arajori. Arajori inside to Punchin. Punchin to Villarenas. Villarenas to Kusik. Kusik tries to get past his man there. I'm not going to say he tried to get past because that was a long surname. <laughs> okay, 72 minutes in. Uh, 11 shot guys. Only five on target. 11 shots. 1.42 XG. Very happy with that. Savic here for Efikos. And he gets nodded away. Here's Kusik. Kusik to Punchin. Punchin to Kusik. Size. Caveda. Punchin. Caveda over the top. And it's inside to Kusik. Berrigade comes out to Velikari. Velikari with the goal. Get in there. On the Velikari. Absolutely fantastic. 2 0 Paphos. Get in there. Potentially could be a double win on this episode, guys. Great little shot there. Great. That's a beautiful goal. A beautiful goal. With his right foot as well. I believe that Villacari is... He might be both footed actually Villacari. Uh, but yeah, that's a great shot. That's a great goal. Great bottom bag. Let's praise him, guys. Let's get him... Let's get him motivated. And let's make that change as well. Let's make the uh, Marcelo Torres change for Rakels. What a goal that was from Omni Villacari, guys. It's punching, punching inside to, and it's Palos Orajore. Get in there. Paphos 3 0, guys. Unbelievable, unbelievable episode here. I'm absolutely buzzing. Get in there. So, guys, we currently cement ourselves at the top of the table at the minute. Absolutely fantastic. XG of 1.74, which is not the best, but it's, it's okay. Um, guys, get in there. Currently two points clear at the top of the table. And Ethnicos, are they going to get a goal? No, they're not. Kusa gets it away. And that should be the full time whistle. And it's it's in fact it's uh, gonna be a it's a yellow card. It's a yellow card for Christoph. And it is guys, it's full time, it is full time. Get in there. That puts Paphos top of the league, guys. I'm very happy with that. Look at the stats. The stats they never had a shot on target all game. 43% possession, so they did start to come back into the game. Uh, XG of 1.74 against 0.14. And guys, absolutely fantastic with Set only 72%, 87% passes complete. Guys, average rating of 7.19. Look at this, all green on the Paphos side. Guys, absolutely fantastic. Man of the match was Arajore. Um, guys, absolutely over the moon with that victory. Let's get to the changing room. Let's, yeah, well, I'm very happy with that win, guys. Very happy with it. And everyone looks inspired. Everyone looks motivated. Absolutely fantastic. That result takes Paphos top of the league. You must be delighted. With, you must be pleased with that. Without a doubt, very pleased. How much longer can you keep the incredible run going? Can you keep it going for good times? Can you keep the good times rolling? God, it would help if I could read. If I could read. <laughs> if, I could, if I could just read slower, that would be that would help. Uh, could I keep the good times rolling? Um, we're taking things one match at a time. I'm doing the old, uh, the old gesture. Pundits are suggesting that the players will suffer from overconfidence. So do you fear that could be a problem? I can't afford. To, I can't allow it to happen. I can't afford it to happen. Certainly, though, it becomes something that consider longer. The longer it goes on, of course it would. Of course it would. So, guys, as you can see, we're ending the save here. We're ending the episode here. We're ending the save. We're ending the episode here. Uh, and we're currently top of the league. We've played five and we've got twelve points. We are two points in front of Doxka. And absolutely fantastic, guys! What a way to end episode three. Two victories, one against what was top of the league as well in AEK Lenarco as well, um, who have actually dropped down into seventh place now as well. So this season is all over the place and we've only just started. So guys, make sure you get onto the next episode, episode four, which will come out on Friday, this Friday coming. And make sure guys, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And if you do like the video, it'd be much, praise, much appreciated if you hit the like button as well. So guys, thank you very much. I will see you on episode four.